today we will be going over some practice exercises of numpy and uh, we will test our knowledge that we have gained so far during this series and uh, before we begin i want to uh, discuss few things uh, the first is that uh, i will be adding the playlist of numpy videos that we have covered so far the link will be in the description and also any previous videos that uh, any previous uh, notebooks that we have covered they will also be in the description so that being said in today's video we will be uh, practicing we will be doing some exercises on uh, the basics of numpy uh, creating arrays and uh, creating matrices so the very first thing that we want to do is import numpy and once we run this cell we will import our numpy and then uh, we have these test cases all these different test cases that we have for example here we have uh, create area of 10 zeros create area of 10 ones create area of 10 fives create an area of integers from 30 to 50 and so on there are these different cases that uh, will test the all the material that we have covered in uh, lecture one and that is about creating arrays creating matrices and the different functions that numpy has available to us so let's move on to the first exercise that is create area of 10 zeros so this is pretty basic one for this you what you can do is np dot zeros 10 and uh, it will give you an area of 10 zeros okay moving on to the next one here we have uh, create an area of 10 ones for this you can same as the above one you can just say once and uh, give it a 10 and it will give you an area of 10 ones uh, moving on to the next one you can also add alt enter and create a new cell then np dot uh, for this what you can do is np dot once and uh, you can say give me 10 ones and then multiply those with 5 Okay, this is one way to create uh, this area of 10 fives, uh, area of yeah, 10 fives. And the other method is, uh, you may have guessed it already, np dot zeros and plus five. Okay. Mm, my bad. We have to give it the number of elements that it has to create. Okay, these are the two things. Uh, similarly in all these exercises what I'll do is I'll create this uh, all the alternatives to do all the methods to do achieve the result and I'll add both of them with comments so that whenever you want you can access you can look at both of them in your own time okay so in the next one we have to create an area of integers from 30 to 40 so for this if you remember we can use the a range function so a range what it does is it gives us elements uh, from a starting index and a stopping index and uh, just remember uh, that uh, you have to give one more than the stopping index for example we have here we want 30 to 50 we want this 50 to be included in here so we have to give 51 if we do this because uh, this one is exclusive it says stop at one before whatever is here so look at this uh, it will go from 30 to 50 and in the next one it says create an area of all even integers from 30 to 50 so for this we can uh, still use the a range function with its step size 30 to 51 and the step size should be 2 so this way you can it will take 30 and then two steps 32 then two steps 34 and so on so this will give you all the even numbers and the next one says uh, create a matrix of 3 by 3 with values ranging from 10 to 18 so for this what we can do is use the a range np dot a range 10 to 19 dot reshape three cross three okay why i have uh, included 
uh, this 10 to 18 elements because uh, this will be nine elements 10 included and 18 included total there will be nine and uh, in a matrix of three cross three this should be nine elements if we provide like more or less than nine elements and try to reshape it it will not allow us it says cannot reshape area of size 8 into shape 3 by 3 so that's why we have to you know be careful about what is the shape and what is the size of the matrix the number of elements so in the next one it says create an identity matrix of 3 cross 3 so for this we can as you may remember from the previous videos what we can do is np dot i and 3 uh, this i gives you few more options to uh, play with the identity matrix uh, we also have this identity function that we can use to create this identity matrix but here you can only create a, you know a square matrix like this 3 cross 3 but in np.eye you can say 3 cross 5 and it will still create this identity matrix identity matrix is nothing but uh, uh, a matrix that contains ones on its diagonals and uh, zeros everywhere else so this also has this uh, k parameter that you can use for example the k parameter says uh, go if it is positive number it will say go above this uh, diagonal so if it is negative it will move uh, below this diagonal so this is the main diagonal remember that so now if we run this you can see it moves two steps ahead two steps above the normal in the original diagonal so one and two if we move it for example we say negative one so it will move down the diagonal moves down here as you can see so i will you know keep this as well moving on we have uh, this exercise that says generate a random number between 0 and 1 for this what we can do is np dot random dot rand and 1 the dot random this is another uh, library in numpy a module in numpy that we can that includes all the functions for random numbers so moving on to the next case we have generated an area of 25 random numbers sample from a standard normal distribution uh, please go to the previous videos if you want explanation about this so to generate 25 random numbers we can again use the np dot random but this time we have to use rand n this n specifies the standard normal distribution and we want 25 random numbers okay this is how we can create the 25 random numbers of uh, standard normal distribution now we want to create a 10 by 10 matrix that is linearly spaced uh, elements from ranging from 0.01 .01 to 1.0 okay so for this what we can do is we can use the function called lin space okay so the function's name is np dot lin space 0 0.01 1.0 and we want 100 elements because we have to reshape it into 10 by 10 remember that uh, for reshape we need uh, this many number in, of elements 10 cross 10 is 100 if here we we wanted for example a 3 by 3 matrix we would put 9 elements and this will give us in this uh, 3 by 3 matrix but we want 100 and uh, this has to be 10 cross 10 okay as you can see it gives us linearly spaced the difference between these uh, elements is the same that is 0 0.01 and uh, yeah there's another method that we can do this that is np dot a range 1 101 dot reshape 10 10 and uh, divided by 100 this will give you the same result so moving on we have created an area of 10 linearly spaced points between 0 and 1 
for this we can use the same function uh, np dot lin space zero mother zero one and uh, twenty okay pretty simple straightforward and uh, the next case is create a diagonal area for this uh, we will use uh, a new function this i don't think i have discussed before but uh, it's just like all the other functions of numpy np.diag and uh, here you can just uh, what are the numbers one two three okay this way you can just create this is also a diagonal matrix and uh, the elements on diagonal are like this you could have also created this matrix the identity matrix using this method just like this one and one so this is another method that you can use so let's put this here as well okay just for your reference if you get stuck or if you want to refresh your concepts okay uh, so moving on mm, this is flip the array so for example we have this array and we want to store it in this variable arr and then uh, what flip means is that uh, it will flip these elements from error one to let me just show you np dot flip l r a r r as you can see this has flipped both the uh, elements from right to left so these were few of the functions that we did and uh, this was a an exercise i'll put an empty file of uh, this exercise in the description below where you can practice and uh, once you have done you can compare that with uh, this solution or you can come up with your own uh, functions as well so let me know about your progress in the comment section and uh, please do subscribe and like the video it helps a lot